Okay, so hello, my name is Glenn. I'm just a pretty much a shit kicker. So anyway, today all the rage on YouTube at the moment is the volcanic eruption in Iceland, or the future of volcanic eruption. If it actually rub erupts in um I don't even know the name of it. Near Reykjavik. Yeah, I'm not even gonna pronounce Icelandic because yeah, I'm an idiot. Anyway, so we reduce my face and we'll look at. So if you want information on the Icelandic volcanic activity, go to Icelandic Met Office. It has earthquakes, so you can check up the earthquakes. And as you can see, this is where we are focusing on. That's where all the work earthquakes are. And that's where they think the eruption is going to happen on that little small town that you know is in the middle of nowhere and then you got you know you got Galaxy here volcanoes and got the so the actual mid oceanic ridge goes along here somewhere we'll have a look at that in a minute there's also a hot spot so there's two types of things going on here but this video is about how old are the rocks in Iceland so you climatology, sea pollution, blah 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 blah, uh, hydrology, and good good city. Where's that town? Oh, I'm sorry, did I insult you? <laughs> anyway, uh, so if you want the basics of the geology of Iceland, just go to the Wikipedia page, but. A lot of this is unreferenced, so you need to find academic articles that have references. So here's Introduction to Geology of Iceland. What's that one? We'll have a look. Uh, Catalogue of World Volcanoes. Yeah, that's pretty okay. There's a good website about volcanoes. Okay, this is probably a geology professor. Okay, you've got zeolites. You've got lots of the Faroes Islands. Anyway, um, in this map, what do we have here? So basically we have the ages of, looks like the fault systems going north, south. There's a lot of fault on Iceland. So zero indicates where the hotspot is. So it's more in the south, east of Iceland. And you can see that hotspot supposedly, uh, or it's been moving uh, and maybe it will keep moving off Iceland to go to where GF is, where Ferris Islands is. So this is 10 million years the hotspot was here. 20 million years ago hotspot was here. But you also need to understand is that this is split in two and Iceland is moving to the east and the west as the basalt uh, mid oceanic ridge basalt is being built up in the middle so that's what partly that could mean so only if we find an indication that the hotspot is moving this way that we know that the hotspot itself would actually be moving because each of these sides is moving so this side's moving to the east that side's moving to the west and here 30 million years ago is in the ocean and 40 years in greenland uh, if we look at, oh, where's, oh, sorry, I need to go to the PDF. Okay, is this the one? Oh, no. no. Yeah, okay, here we go. So, here we have the formation of Greenland itself. Oh, not Greenland, Iceland. So, 54 million years ago, we have Ferris Island. So, here's the start of the actual separation of uh, the North Atlantic Ocean. So as you can see, we've got Norway, Shetland, Faroes, and probably 100 million years ago, this is pretty much joined up together. So we've got 44 million years ago, and it's more uh, diverged. So JMM is still in the same place, but to the east of it, we have more oceanic crust being built. And to the south, we have uh, 
Oceanic Crust in the East and West. And below FTT, that's so that's the fault. That's a transform fault. So that means it's sliding past each other. And we've got ridges and all that stuff. Then we had 26 million years ago. Obviously JMM has started to move. So obviously here we have oceanic crust being built up. And that has a date. So all these numbers are dates. So 54, 44 million years ago. That's how old that crust is. And in the middle we have 44 to 26 million years ago. Although that's a very wide spacing range. You would see that in this area here on this line will be closer to 54 million years ago. And towards this line it's 44 million years ago. So that's the age progression. And 26 million years ago is probably more in the center dotted line. So we have dotted line represents a fault line that's uh, extinct. So, or divergent plate boundary is extinct and the actual uh, thick lines that are not dotted are uh, current ones at the time. Okay, so at that point we don't have Iceland being formed. It's only pretty much See, 15 million years ago, Iceland is just starting to be formed. So what they've done is they've just taken the map of Iceland and they just cut where the oldest rock is. And that is on, oh, don't even know what that peninsula is called. So what we need to do is go to Google Maps and we go to Oh look, I'm in Melbourne. Yes, it will cost me ten thousand dollars to go to Iceland, so I'm not going. Okay, so this peninsula here, and that is. Ah, uh, I have no idea what this peninsula is called. Stern, uh, yeah, whatever they bloody call it. Which no, that's a that, that's a region. Anyway. So, uh, we have this peninsula. So this is the oldest peninsula. And people think that Iceland just has volcanic rock, but it does have sedimentary rock um, because all this rock is eroding. And a lot of it goes into basins and, and also it goes into these lakes. Okay, let's get the... I like this map better. So it goes into lake systems that fill up and that's like uh, it's probably more like a clay because that's basically what basalt erodes into and also into the ocean so a lot of this is probably deeper ocean but you've got these fjords and sounds and bays that would get filled up pretty quick so this is probably not too deep probably has a lot of sediment poured into it and that's where a lot of fossils are so the oldest fossils are around this area uh, i think they excavated from mines uh, where the coal deposits are so that this peninsula has the oldest fossils they're about 15 million years old so if we go back to that period so and then we've got 10 million years and as you can see more of iceland has been formed and these Dates 10 and 15 means 10 and 15 million years. And what we are seeing here, so the light dark yellow is the rock exposed at the surface at 0 million years. So that's the current time period at the time. And the yellow is area overlain by later lavas, underlying rock exposed at the surface at 0 million years. So these dates indicate the underlying rock. And that's what we see here. So we've got two dates on these types of rock. So all these are rocks at 15 million years that are underneath. Obviously the 18 to 28 million years ago. So we've got 15 to 33 million years ago. So obviously 
And the oldest rock exposed at the surface is about 15 million years. And 10 million years, got the same date system. Then we have 7 million years ago, so you've got a lot of central Iceland as rock at about that age. Then we have more rock being formed. So 2 million years ago, Iceland is pretty much similar to what it is now. It's just that we have a lot more in the centre of Iceland of a uh, younger rock and also in the south. So basically on the east and the west coast is the oldest rock. On the west coast we've got 15 million year old rock roughly. On the east is about 13 million years. And underneath on the east is a 18 million year old rock. And on the West we have also 15 million year old rock. But in the southeast seems like 28 million years seems it no, in the north, yeah. 30 million years is the older rock underneath the current lava flows. And active plate boundary is in red, so it goes pretty much straight through the center. And there's an offset fault. So this divergent plate boundary peters out. There's an offset transform fault, and then it picks up further towards the west. And then we have extinct plant boundary, which basically is where the, the volcanoes are, or the current eruption. So there's that. Then we have here. Uh, so this is the rock types that you can find on Iceland. So the blues are basic and intermediate. Extrusive rock. So we're talking about basalts and andesites. We've intersected sediments. So obviously you got sedimentary rock from those rock types. It's been eroded and formed sedimentary rocks. Okay, then we have the basic and intermediate. Okay, so that one's older than the blues, older than 3.1 million years. Then you've got the greens, which is the basic. Same type of rock, andesite and basalt. Uh, 7 to 3.1 million years. And at the top, we've got the same basic and intermediate interglacial and superglacial lavas with intercalated sediments. So that's those ones, and that's younger than 700,000 years. So in the center here is the younger rock. As you go towards east and west, you get the older rock. Okay, and where's this color here? So basic and intermediate, gabbros, diorites, and diuretic. So these are intrusive igneous rocks. So these are the rocks that are underneath. Uh, so the lavas. So those. There doesn't seem to be that much exposure of those intrusive igneous rocks because uh, you need all this to be eroded first before. Uh, they get exposed, and probably those rocks have not cooled. Oh no, fifteen million years. I say they'd be actually solidified, unless there is a heat. Like there's a hot spot here, unless that actually keeps it a molten state. Okay, and we have some acid intrusive rhyolites, grano pyrite, and uh, granite. So. We've got rhyolites, which are extrusives, and they're in there. So these ones are pretty much uh, mostly feldspars and quartz. And not really something you would expect to find in mid-oceanic basalt. So not too sure. I haven't read up about that type of rock. So it should be a whitish, greyish colour. And these ones should be a darkish colour. Okay, yeah. Okay, so basic, basic. So you probably know basic. That's mafic rock as well. And then you got acid, which is just felsic. So obviously they use the old expression here of uh, that information. And here's that 1783 lucky eruption, which pretty much they say killed about. 25% of Iceland's population were at the time about 9,000 people. 
And there's other types of eruptions as well. And there's lots of volcanoes. So that's so I'm not too sure why this peninsula is like that. Mm. Maybe all this has uh, been subjected to uh, some type of stress that's removed it. Okay, if we go up north, okay, this is a more basic uh, diagram. So we've got the older rock here, around here. Then we have the 700,000 to 3.1 million year old rock here. And then we have the less than 700,000 rock in dark blue. Then we have all the volcanoes and the fault lines. So as you can see around north of Reykjavik. Okay, they got Reykjavik. That's not in the rock. Reykjavik is around here. That's like near the airport. Okay, so little volcanoes around here. These are probably, probably remnants of hot spots. Or they are probably just fault lines. Then I need to look that up. So there's those two, and then, yeah, go away, map. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right, Toyas. So this is the subglacial. So you have a glacier on top, and the volcano erupts, and that's basically what it looks like. And um, this is where it comes from, Taltan language in North America, so in Canada. You should look up those people, very interesting. Okay, and then you've got information. So, as you can see, it's got a list of uh, subglacial volcanoes. Most of them are in Iceland. You've got some in Tuva, which is in Russia. Actually, Russia annexed that in 1944. And their currency is actually quite interesting. You've got some in North America. Uh, you've got ones in Antarctica. Uh, I think they're current ones as well. And most of the other ones that you'll probably find throughout history have been eroded. Okay, here we have another map. So this is from... Who's the publication from? Introduction to the Nature of Geology of Iceland. So here we have the divergent plate boundary. And we have the age of the, the uh, sea floor. So... As you get towards Scandinavia, it gets 58 million years. As you get towards Greenland, it gets to 53 million years. And the rest of the rock is just covered by sedimentary rock. So there could be old rock underneath, but I don't know. Maybe they haven't drilled that far. And as you get to Colbine Sea Ridge, you get to zero. So that's recent. Rick Yannis Ridge, also in the south of Iceland, recent. And as you can see, where they had the extinct fault line, here they've got it as an active one. And where they had the active one on the other map, they've got it. There's nothing there, so it's probably extinct. Okay. You can read this if you like. Okay, here we have the same map that we saw before. This is probably a little bit more detail. Okay, see so here we have the fault line. Okay, at 55 million years, 24 million years, we had the fault line as well, but it's been offset by a transformed fault. And here's a precursor of Iceland. Obviously, Iceland had it formed yet. Then 36 million years, oh, sorry, one, then 15, and this is Iceland starting to form. So, this is the hot spot. So, obviously, at this point, the hot spot had migrated here. If we go down, We've got 4 million years ago, and this is pretty much Iceland being formed, and we've got a lot of uh, fault lines, we've got transform fault, we've got another ridge, which is a former divergent plate boundary. So do we have any more information? Oh, so we go down, we just have the same map that we saw before in blues, so we've got the older rock here, got the 700,000 to 3.1. They use the same date systems. Obviously, they got the information from the same plate. But this one has extra information. So we've got volcanic systems, which are in the hatched line area. Glaciers. And here we have the calderas. So we have one, two, three, four, five, 
under the large rain glacier, one under here, another one under here, and then we've got some that are not glaciated. And we've got flake zones, synclines, anticlines, and we've got dike trends. Transcurrent faults, so we've got fault system. So dikes pretty much are arranged in the north south direction, the same as the divergent plate boundary. Okay, so it's very interesting. Uh, maybe don't really look at that information too much. And here we have some photos of uh, the actual Iceland as well. And basically, in this geothermal heat flux revealed hotspot, we have a map. So we're not worried about the first two. Looking at the third one, so here's the well, this is supposed to be the movement of the hotspot. So zero is currently it's under Iceland 50 million years ago. 60, 68 million years ago to 80 million years ago, it was under Greenland. Now they've got it going up north, but these maps here indicate that it probably should have gone uh, towards the west following NS, and I don't know what NS is, Nars, Nara Strait. So it should have gone that way. That's just where the hot spot seems to have gone. So that's a geothermal heat flux. So this probably is a thin crust, I would say. Curry depth, temperature profile, okay, model. So, yay! Any more information? No. And it just says information about the curry heat flux and all that, which I'll need to read up on. I think I'll read it. So don't worry about that. And yeah, basically more information. So if you want to look it up, you can is a you can look at this hot spot reconstruction on shows you how they get information about the actual movement of hot spots. So if we go down to just one of the maps, okay, hot spot tracks. So this is a current hot spot. And here's the previous eruptive points, which goes up north. And there's the mathematical equation if you want to get real nerdy. So if we go to one, so here we have our South, uh, South America is here. Here we have Africa. So on the coast, we have 132 million years ago. In South America, we have 132. So Africa and South America are 132, and here we have different ages of the hotspots uh, in the ocean. So, yeah, Trista da Tuna, nothing. So, obviously, it gets younger as you get towards the divergent plate boundary, which is a spread line going down. And the blue is probably colder rock covered in sedimentary material, and these ones are probably warmer rock. And they probably haven't sank. So, yay! Anyway, you probably think I'm going crazy. No, you can only go crazy once, sorry. So, here we have another map of the actual hotspot. So, we're not worried about too much about that. So, let's have a look. Um, volcanoes. Yeah, you got another colour map. So, this is all the volcanoes. So we'll focus around about here. Main Oceanic Volcanoes. Lucky. Uh, now what I wanted, I wanted to see if I can, f see I don't know, it's an awful length it rig can is, yeah, maybe that's it. Ah, right, this is it. That's Re Canyas Peninsula, and this is where they think the eruption is going to happen. And as you can see, a lot of the eruptions are less, I don't know, less than three in magnitude. And I don't see any greater than three, so obviously the lava is a lot closer to the surface, so it probably has uh, less resistance to it. 
And the airport is somewhere over here. The town is somewhere down there. So, a lot of them, less than four hours. Oh boy, very interesting. Anyway, that's the age of Icelandic volcanic system. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you want to scream at me, please do. I get off on it. Thank you. Oh, look, I can't look over there. I have to look here. Hi. Do you like me with glasses or without? Because that's a bit blurry to me. Or maybe. Maybe I just draw red text on my face.